I'm Chris. And this I'm is? Petey. And we're doing sick me from dancing. And we enjoyed it, didn't we, Peter? Yeah. 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 Well, but maybe at the beginning we weren't. Very so hard on the leg. <laughs> very hard on your legs, I find. We'll be we'll be very fit after all of the the practices and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we were actually we were out first, so <laughs> we we didn't have. Uh, You're supposed to say you were very happy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 but. Uh, we were out for the pose and I'd done my pose wrong. We were supposed to go with a gun like that and I was like this, so. I think he was praying. <laughs> <laughs> There's no um, set winners, I suppose, yet. It all depends on the votes on the night. So don't take it for granted. Um, if Whoever you want to vote for, you need to put those votes down uh, to get your act through, whoever that might be. I think we'll be in the last five. Oh, think positively, think positively. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I heard about the fella you've been dancing with all over the neighborhood. So why not I ask you, baby? Didn't you think I could? Well, I know that boogaloo is out of sight. Shingling the thing tonight. Well, if that was you and me, I think, baby, I could have shown you how to do it right. Do it right. Peter, you've watched The X Factor or Britain's Got Talent, haven't you? The answer is yes, you have. Do you know what happens when somebody performs really, really well? Normally what happens is the judges stand on her feet. As soon as you nailed that last move, Kat was up on her feet. She sat back down, she turned to end it, and she said a number, okay? Not going to tell you what the number was she said, but you're going to find out very, very quickly. I think we have a couple of posters over here as well, have we? We do indeed. We have some posters over here as well. Guys, absolutely pre fantastic performance. And one thing I have been asked to do, guys, if you have a booklet in front of you, please have a look at the back cover. There is a fantastic show that's going to be on uh, on the 7th, 8th, the 13th and 14th. It's The Real Mackay, and it's from the uh, Latin School Players Presents. It's a hilarious comedy. If you want to get tickets, let them know, guys. It is a really, really good show. And I'll say it a few more times as well, okay? Okay, come on over this way, guys. Just stand here for me, if you don't mind, on that white spot there. Excellent stuff. That gave you a minute to get your breath back, Peter, didn't it? He still can't answer me. He's so out of breath. Okay, guys, we're going to go with Enda first. Enda, your comments, please. Well, I'd have to say, Peter, the postman always delivers. <laughs> and, and, and well done, really well done. Uh, I've worked with Chris many moons ago. She's a lovely person, very involved in the community. Um, really, really good. I mean, you put a lot of work into it. That's really obvious. Um, I know maybe, Peter, you mightn't be just the most gifted dancer on the stage tonight, but you put in a huge effort. And I think the little flick at the end, where did that come out of? Well done. Cat, where are you, Oh, we were going through that performance and I was thinking, oh, Chris, she's like a little energizer bunny on the stage and you're really, really getting into it. And then you did a car drill. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you now, it's a 10 for me because that was just spectacular. Well done. Well done. By the way, that was the number she said. As soon as she stood up, she turned to end and says 10. Definitely a 10. 
Okay, Claire, please. Well done, both of you. That was brilliant. At the start, I was a bit worried about Peter. I was like, gosh, if he moves much more, he might actually dance. And then he did a cartwheel. Like, that was fantastic. Chris, you were so energetic the whole way through. And you worked so well together. Well done. And Joe, please, your comments. That, that was amazing. You really took my breath away. Enda Flynn says he didn't think you, you were much of a dancer. You're a hell of a better dancer than Enda Flynn. <laughs> uh, Chris, you look amazing. That was a serious performance. And when you did that cartwheel, I think you should be drug tested. <laughs> and what, what, whatever you are on, I want it. He said it's a blue tablet. I don't know what that is now, but I'm not too sure. Joe said he wants two is of them it, for later. Is it the 50 or the 80 mil? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, absolutely fantastic performance. Uh, we're going to find out what the judges' votes are. Guys, can we have your score, please? 10, 9, and 9. We have a score of a total of 38 points. And one other thing, folks. Peter, do you know what happened when you came on stage? They call it in showbiz a Susan Bile moment. You walked on stage and he went, oh... This is going to be, oh, not too sure about this. And then you surprise the hell out of everybody in the audience and put on a show like that. Give them a big round of applause. It is, of course, Peter and the fabulous Chris, who were couple number 18 dancing the jive.